Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the frequency density which is what you need to calculate if you need to draw a histogram and to work out the frequency density you do the frequency divided by the class width the class width is the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit of each group so let's have a look at an example then so we have a frequency table on the running times of a group of athletes so the first thing I want to do is add a new column on and I'm going to calculate the class width. So the class width is the difference between the upper limit, that's the highest value of the group, and the lower limit, which is the lowest value. So on the first group it would be 10 take away 0 which is 10. For the second one it will be 30 take away 10 which is 20. For the third group the class width would be 35 take away 30 which is 5 and for the fourth group that will be 45 take away 35 which is 10. So once you've done this let's add another column on and this time we can calculate our frequency densities. So we can use the formula above then now so we just have to divide the frequency by the class width. Okay, Make sure you do it in that order don't change the order around. So for the first one it's going to be 25 divided by the class width. So 25 divided by 10 would be 2.5. If you're having trouble working these out just do it on your calculator. Uh, for the second group it'll be 40 divided by 20 which is 2. And for the third group it's going to be 2 divided by 5 so make sure you do it in this order so that will give you an answer of 0 0.4 and for the final group it's going to be 15 divided by 10 which is 1.5 and that's it so once you have these you can then go on to draw your histogram uh, so I'll do this in a different video. Thanks for watching.